The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesamento, mid-afternoon update for TFNN, and we've got the S&P down quarter percent, down 10. The NASDAQ uh, was up uh, 200 and some points. Now it's up about, uh, well, it's almost unchanged on the day right now. Uh, it's only one of the indexes is still up. The Dow Jones is down considerably, down about 180. Russell is down a little over 1%. Uh, gold is acting very, very strongly today. That's in face of a, uh, a weakening dollar, which is a sort of a surprise. And the other big surprise is that we've had Treasury bonds rallying two full points now up to the 127 level. Remember, folks, they had a high of 136 just a little while ago. So this is nothing more than a bounce back rally uh, in the Treasury bonds uh, from looking at it from a technical uh, standpoint. I just saw... Uh, on Bloomberg here that we just had a negative print on the NASDAQ after being up 250 points on the day. Reminds me what uh, viral, uh, uh, Basil Chapman once said uh, when the market was sharply higher. He says, well, it's still early in the day. And that certainly was true again. Basil was spot on uh, one more time. So it's uh, very exciting to see these markets move the way they're moving. And this is what we would like to see because volatility gives you patterns that you can work from. And that's what our job here at TFNN is to provide you with patterns that offer you the best possible risk versus the largest, largest possible uh, profit potential. That's what it's all about. It's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. Now, all of the stock indices are now down on the day. That was after some pretty bullish news. So stay tuned, folks. Uh, what goes up must come down, and what goes down must go up, with the exception of the grain market. It doesn't have any friends at all because it's raining in the Midwest, and that means good crops. And this is not even June 1st yet. Are you telling me we're not going to have any problems with the weather for the next three and a half months? I don't think so. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Our guest will be Shane Smolian. Trade what you see. The reality is that navigating